Well, good morning, or maybe afternoon. It's Facebook Live. Today's Wednesday. Sorry to get to you Monday or Tuesday. There was a piece on 60 Minutes Sunday night that none of us uh, want to face, particularly those of us who are baby boomers. But we've heard about it, we've seen about it. It happened to President Reagan. It happened to Charleston Heston. This was a story about a woman who at 65 years old was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and then it followed her years later and basically how this horrible disease uh, financially devastated her husband and the family besides the emotional component of it. What I want to talk to you about is the cost of preparing for these type of things for those of us who are at that age and for those of us or for those younger my children for example in preparing for these things not only for their parents but also for themselves and that is there is nothing cheap about getting old when it comes to medical care and if you don't have the proper insurance coverage for long-term care or you don't have a lot of money or you don't have a family that loves you enough that's going to assist in taking care of you, which is a burden if things aren't well with you, uh, you could find yourself, we could find ourselves in some nursing home where you're not cared for and you're not loved and you're treated as if you're nothing more than a piece of meat. And that's the reality of life. So what do you do? Well, it's my understanding a lot, of, a lot of the assisted living places who do not take any type of uh, insurance or Medicaid or Medicare, whatever the coverage may be, uh, you're looking at, depending upon geographically where you're located, probably between ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a month for care. And unless you have a, a very serious bankroll, you'll be out of money for quickly. And a lot of people do, because what happens is whatever their savings are, and I believe in this case, this man, they basically bankrupt themselves financially because they love the person and they want to take care of them. That's what you hope will happen. I've been in nursing homes where I had an uncle years ago whose roommate uh, was dropped off literally 10 years earlier by his family and they never came back to see him. And uh, the horror stories are terrible. But what's the solution? Well, the solution is planning. Uh, when you're young, uh, you don't think about these things because time goes a little slower. But then once you get older, you say, saying, where did the last 10 years go? When the last 10 years go? Where did the last 10 years go? Uh, this is all part of estate planning. This is all part of getting financial advice. This is part of understanding what savings means from 401ks to IRAs to putting money away. Some people, I'm, I'm very conservative where I don't really care about how much return I get on my money. I want to be able to go down to the bank if I want $500 or $100 or $50. I know it's there. Some people are more progressive and they're, they're active in the market and different things or in real estate and things like that. Nothing wrong with any of that. But the point is, those of you who are 35, 40, 45 years old need to start thinking about this. Those of us baby boomers who spend every dime they've ever made, it's too late, okay? So it comes down to the fact that whatever you do have, if God forbid you get very ill and you can't be cared for at home, you're going to end up in a facility where whatever monies you have are going to be spent down and until you're eligible for any kind of state, state benefit at all, Medicaid or otherwise. So this is not designed to be depressing. This is more designed to alert you that we're on this treadmill of life where every day, here I am in my office with a rectangular piece of equipment that's videotaping that allows me to send this message out. Who would have ever dreamed? So there's a genius you know, behind all of this to have these incredible abilities to communicate. My communication to you today is think ahead. Plan ahead financially. Plan ahead as to your estate planning, which we've talked about. Get professional advice. Talk to assisted living facilities now, even when you're younger, and if your parents are still healthy, to find out, well, how does this work? Or come to a lawyer like myself or otherwise 
who could say, okay, I'll put you in contact with some of these places where you can basically have an explanation as to how this all works. I urge you to pay attention to detail. I urge those of you who are young to understand that a blink of an eye, years go by. And for those of us where money's not been put away, then the bottom line is you, you hope that you stay healthy and one day you close your eyes and things are, you're now in a different world. So look at what, where you are. If you're younger and you have family members, parents that are still with you, please look and see if you could talk with them about it. If they don't have things in order, it's not easy to talk about, help them do that. And uh, I'm gonna be putting some blogs up on the, or the website to talk about these things also. But I want to express to you that this 60 Minutes piece, you may want to go look. Can we post that, Amy, on yeah. our... We'll post it for you to watch because it's a sad story, but it's a real story. And that's what we need to do. This is Bob Massey. Oh, yeah. question. Yeah. Uh, what is long-term care insurance? Should you get it? Long-term care insurance is insurance that will provide a certain amount of money per month for your care in your home or otherwise. <clears throat> My son, Dominic, who's in the insurance business, sells it. It can be pricey depending upon what age it is when you buy it, but it's something that you should really look into so that you understand that this is insurance that's available to pay for your care or a portion of your care. The same thing where you should have personal disability if you become disabled, that you have disability to get some income. So yeah, check into that and uh, check it out. My office number is 702-870-1100. It's Massey and Massey. That's M-A-S-S-I-A-N-D. M-A-S-S-I.com. My son Robert practices with me. <clears throat> also, uh, subscribe to YouTube because we upload everything we do to YouTube and we appreciate you doing that. Share this with your friends. By the way, I'm pretty sure that I wore the same top last week. I did change, I did shower, I did bathe between last week and this week. Have a good day.